So hello and welcome to this simple tutorial on how to set up an FMOD studio session with the CSAM plugin and how to bring that into the Unity game engine. So I've created a new, I've just opened up FMOD, I'm going to create a new project here. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to create a new event. I'm going to call that event simple noise. I'm then going to go to the timeline over here, I'm going to right click, I'm going to access the CSAM plugin that we created in the previous tutorial called Simple Noise. When I play that, we get a ch. Okay. Uh, I'm going to click on Master. I'm going to get rid of the 3D panning, make it easier to import the sound into Unity. Um, it just means I don't have to worry about using any kind of panning or spatialization on the sound. Um, important to right click the event and assign it to the master bank. Otherwise, um, Unity is not going to be able to find it, find the event. And I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that on the desktop. I'm going to call it Simple Noise FMOD. Okay. Now, so you've got the project set up. Uh, it's playing the CSAM plugin. Uh, we've assigned it to the master bank. We've simplified the spatialization. And, oh yeah, we have to build we have to make sure that we build the project okay so when we build the project uh, it puts all the bits and pieces and all the events and all that stuff together into um, a file that unity can read okay so I'm going to open up the unity project uh, in this simple unity scene I have a ball that moves around the screen and I'm going to collide with the cube so the idea is that every time I collide with the cube we're going to play some sound now I've already gone ahead and imported the Unity package for or the FMOD package for Unity. So uh, once you do that, you can import everything that's available. And once you import it, you'll get access to this FMOD menu. So I'm going to click on the Edit Settings. Brings up this inspector over here. Uh, this is important: Studio Project Path. Right, so I'm going to browse and I'm going to select the folder that I saved my FMOD session in. It's on the desktop and it's a simple noise FMOD folder. So, simple noise FMOD open. Once I open that, you get all these settings here. Okay, so you can go through, uh, you can find information about all those settings um, from the FMOD, FMOD website. Okay, so. Um, now, if you try to play that straight away, um, I can show you you're going to get um, a problem here. So, and the problem is it's saying could not load bank. There's um, issues here. Basically, the main problem is that we're trying to use a plugin. We're trying to use that simple noise plugin, but we haven't add, added the plugins here. Okay. So, what you need to do is the plugin folder uh, where all your plugins are. Right. So, if you've you've set up FMOD edit preferences go to assets okay so we've we set this up before uh, so we've got a custom plugin folder where we're putting all our csound plugins and fmod knows what that plugin folder is okay when you bring fmod into unity we have to tell unity where to find those plugins okay and unity always looks in the same folder okay and that's a folder within your project directory if i go to my project directory it's called fmod unity assets plugins and it's in this folder here this 8664 folder that unity is going to look for those plugins okay so what you want to do is you want to copy the plugin from the desktop folder or wherever you have it saved desktop fmod plugs and you have to copy the csd file along with the dll if you don't copy the csd file along with the dll the plugin won't work okay so they always have to live in the same folder so I'm going to copy those and then I'm going to go to my FMOD Unity. Is it FMOD Unity or Unity? FMOD, FMOD Unity. Okay, Assets, Plugins, and click in there. Okay, I've already dropped, I already have those two files in there. Okay, um, so you do that for every plugin that you create. So if you create several different plugins and you use them in your FMOD session, make sure that you put them into your Unity project folder too or else Unity won't be able to find them, or at least the FMOD plugin in Unity won't be able to find them. Once they're in that folder, you need to click on Plugins, and you click Add Plugin, and you type the name of the plugin. Simple Noise. 
Okay, so uh, that should be all okay then when we play that. Uh, yeah, right. So the ball here is the main player. So I'm going to open up the ball script because you have to write some C sharp to get this all working. Um, right, so the first thing here is I've created um, a, ver a variable uh, called simple noise event, okay? which is a type event instance, right, an F1 Studio event instance. And in the start method here, I'm going to assign that variable an instance of an FMOD event. Okay, so we just use the create instance function. Um, it's always going to be event colon forward slash and then the name of the event as it appears in FMOD Studio. So for example, that's simple noise, that event. So we want to load that event here. Okay. So now simple noise is going to represent that event from the FMOD Studio session. So um, now I've got a collision that takes place down here. So this function is going to be called whenever I collide with the cube. right? So I've just got a little debug message here saying hit me. I can take that out, I don't need it. But what is important is I use that variable simple noise event and I call it start function or start method. Okay, so start which will basically just start that event this is going to play that event one time it depends it'll play it looped if you've set up looping in the fmod studio session otherwise it's just going to play it once i'm going to save that script i'm going to go back to unity i'm going to set this to maximize so we get full cinematic effect and i'm going to play the game and now when i crash into that ball we get a Okay, that's enough of that. Um, another thing that's kind of useful to know how to do um, is to control different parameters of the plugin, right? So we've got this bandwidth parameter that can control the brightness of the sound. So perhaps we want to use that in our game as well. So it's, it's quite simple to use that. First of all, we have to set up a parameter here. So whenever you want to control something in FMOD, you need to add a parameter to it. Okay, so I'm going to call add a parameter. I'm going to call it bandwidth, and it creates this parameter kind of. I don't like to call it parameter timeline, but it's just a parameter track. Let's call it. So I'm going to right click, and I'm going to add automation, and I'm going to set it up so at the start it's zero, and at the end it's twenty thousand kilohertz. Okay, so as that's playing now in the background, it's playing and it's looping, but we're not hearing anything because the bandwidth is zero but as we open the bag the sound gets brighter and brighter okay so in our game we can access this parameter control and basically whatever we set that parameter to it's going to be updated and it'll open and close the bandwidth on that noise instrument so i'm going to save that i'm going to build it i'm just using the control or the keyboard shortcuts i'm going to build that session again i'm going to go back to unity i'm going to go to my script and up here I'm going to uncomment this so this is a parameter instance it's called bandwidth so it's a variable of type parameter instance and then over here I'm going to oh that should be simple noise event I'm going to call this function get parameter okay so get parameter accepts um, the name of the parameter and then a variable okay and I'm just going to declare this so I'm gonna have float bandwidth okay oh and bandwidth amount that's better okay so this out uh, bandwidth amount what's I'm going to initialize that What's going on here? Oh, sorry, that should just be bandwidth. Uh, so what you do is you pass the uh, reference to the parameter instance to this function, okay? Um, then you can change that down here. So for example, I can go to uh, bandwidth, which is my parameter, and I can do set value. So I'm just gonna set it to one. And when I play that, it's going to set the bandwidth 
bandwidth parameter to one so basically it's going to set this parameter to one so we should hear that very bright sound so just double check that to make sure that works okay, so we're getting that bright sound but I suppose it doesn't make much sense if the parameter is static so what we can do is so I've created this bandwidth amount and in here I can say so every time this is hit we can add 0.1 to it and I can set the bandwidth amount in there so every time a collision takes place it's going to slowly increase this scrubber by 0.1 every time so the more times we hit the cube the brighter the sound is going to get that makes sense and we'll go back here and we'll play this just wait for it to compile uh, not the fastest machine in the world so when we go into it first and it gets okay so um, right so we've seen how to set up an FMOD studio session um, how to play how to use your CSOUND plugins in that session um, the important thing is don't forget to copy the plugins into your unity project folder um, and then we saw how we can control the different parameters of the plugins in real time within unity okay um, thanks for watching